exclusive contract from Felu Novel Network Novel. Elves. Little wisdom comes to a new world my name is Xiaoji, and I am ten years old. I am a trainer from Jinxin Town. Today is the day when I selected the initial elves to embark on a journey. But when I woke up from sleep, I actually traveled through time. I have traveled to a modern metropolis where elves have descended. It's over. It's over. Without Dr. Daiki in a research institute, what should my initial elf do? Eh. Cabby Beast, the town beast of the new talent cultivation park, has embraced me. The bod of Phalaenopsis in the depths of the secret realm is migrating with me with its tribe asterisk asterisk dot. Even the suction cup puppet, who is a specially appointed supervisor of the college, has to carry billions of assets and forcefully drill into my Pokemon ball. The flamethrowing dragon in the vortex of time and space blooms brilliant fireworks for me. The mysterious Kaga ninja frog has established a special bond with me. And Pikachu galloping in the thunder. Watching strange and powerful elves, even existing only Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. Chapter 1 The Three Imperial Families Are Gone You are listening at NovelFull.audio It's done. It's done. Today is the day to select the initial elves. I overslept. Xiaoji suddenly woke up from his sleep. Looking around in a panic. But it turned out that he was not at his own home, but appeared in a lush vegetation park. Where is this? Xiaoji had a bewildered expression on his face, as if he had not yet regained consciousness. A large amount of information suddenly flooded into my mind. Hmm. A modern metropolis. Elves descend. What thing? Is there actually no elf in this world? Elves only appeared suddenly over a hundred years ago. Xiao Zhi was stunned by the information that came to mind. He clearly remembers that he was Xiao Zhi from Jinxin Town, ten years old this year. Today is the day when he went to Dr. Oki's research institute to collect the new exclusive elves and embark on a journey of training home. Why did you take a nap? The whole world has changed. Without Dr. Daiki in the research institute, what will happen to his initial elf? What? Someone has subdued little fire dragon. Upon hearing the sharp cry, Chiu Ming showed a surprised expression and turned around to run towards the direction of the sound, while also greeting Xiao Ji. Let's take a look. This time, there were only three members of the Imperial Three Families, and surprisingly, someone had already subdued one of them, and it was still a small fire dragon of the fire series. Little Fire Dragon Upon hearing the familiar name, Xiaoji couldn't care about his current situation. This is one of the initial elves he wants to choose. Did someone else take the lead? Running Room Xiaoji also began to digest the information in his mind. The owner who knows about this body, originally named Zhang Daji, is a top student at Liching Number no. 1 Middle School. Today is the day for all high school students to tame the elves in this new elf cultivation park in Lichang. Here there is no Dr. Daiki, nor is there a research institute. There are no three royal families specifically prepared for newcomers, just collect them. All elves must be communicated by newcomers themselves, able to capture their souls and make them willing to be subdued before they can be taken away. This time, there were only three Yusanjia in the park. That is to say, there are only three lucky ones who are fortunate enough to win the little fire dragon, Johnny Turtle, or Bulbasaur Seed. Others can only tame some ubiquitous elves as their initial elves. The little fire dragon was preempted by someone. That's not to let Johnny Turtle and Bulbasaur Seed get ahead of others. I sprinted quickly for a while. Xiaoji saw a young boy on the flat ground not far away, excitedly holding a Pokemon ball while a group of onlookers had already gathered around him. Is it really the little fire dragon in the Yuzan family? Pingsi, this guy, is a bit lucky to have subdued such a rare elf. 
You should know that Little Fire Dragon's ultimate evolved Spitfire Dragon not only possesses powerful abilities, but can also fly in the sky. From now on, there won't be any other means of transportation when going out. You're really amazing. Such a rare member of the Imperial household only wants to use it as a means of transportation. If it were me, I would definitely bring it out to ride around every day. I want to eat my butt. You're just so sleazy, and I want to tame Little Fire Dragon. Dream it. Heiji, quickly release the Little Fire Dragon and let us all take a look. We haven't seen the surviving Imperial family yet. Everyone came from the same school, and most of them knew each other. Some people shouted directly. Upon hearing this, the boy holding the pocket ball had a proud smile on his face. Gently toss the elf ball in your hand. As the light flickers, a red-orange elf appeared in front of everyone. The little dragon let out a fierce cry, and the tail flame above its tail instantly ignited a blazing flame. Seeing this scene, everyone's eyes suddenly lit up. How cute! My heart is about to melt with this fierce and fierce appearance. This is the little fire dragon of the imperial family. No, 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 the little fire dragon has already been subdued, there is no hope. However, there are still two in the imperial three family. That's right, whether it's the Johnny Turtle or the Bulbasaur Seed, I'm not greedy. Just have any one. The appearance of the little fire dragon made the surrounding onlookers feel restless and turned their attention to the other two imperial three families. But at this moment, two people walked out of the crowd. Come out, Johnny Turtle. Come out, Bulbasaur. As the light flickered, two more imperial families appeared in front of everyone. It's Chin Bin and Yaya. Plus Pinksy, they are the three swordsmen made up of our 10,000-year-old trio in number one middle school. I didn't expect to be taken first by the three of them this time, taking over the three families as my own. There's a good show to watch now. Hee <laughs> hee, originally I thought these three swordsmen would compete for the ownership of one of the three imperial families, but these three thousand-year-old mistresses actually snatched away the first and second place glory. Interesting. In the crowd, someone intentionally or unintentionally focused their gaze on Xiaoji who had just arrived. Ah! The three royal families are all gone. At a critical moment, how could I just fall asleep? Xiaoji grabbed his hair with both hands and showed a regretful expression. There is a regret of missing one billion. There are no more royal families here. What should he do with his initial elf? Cabby. A deafening roar suddenly came from afar. Boom boom. The earth trembled lightly. It seems like a giant beast has awakened ahead. In the next moment, I saw a large number of elves rushing out of their original habitats in this park, looking frightened and fleeing in a panic. What's going on? What's going on? What happened? It's a cabby beast. It's the beast of this cultivation park. It's awakened. Chapter 2 Embracing and Embracing Cabby Beasts You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Cabby The distant cries became increasingly clear. Following the direction of the sound, one could see a huge elf with an angry expression on its face, looking around in confusion, as if it had woken up from sleep and was extremely hungry. In the end, he couldn't find anything to eat and could only angrily uproot a fruit tree. Then, he took big bites and ate the leaves, fruits, and branches together, thoroughly. The cabby beast looks really hungry. It has been almost a year since it came to this world, and it has been waiting for someone, waiting for its trainer to pick him up. It kept waiting and was too tired, so it found a quiet place to sleep. In the dream, it returned to a familiar place. Dr. Daiki prepares a lot of snacks for it every day, and every time he wakes up, he can eat all kinds of delicious food as long as he opens his mouth. Once you have eaten enough, you can continue to sleep. That's simply heaven on earth. But it can't go back. No one has prepared food for it. This makes it very angry. 
What's going on? Why did this guy suddenly wake up? Today is the day for new trainers to select their initial Pokemon. We can't let it cause any trouble. What about the tree fruits that you prepared in advance? Hurry up. Go ahead of the cabby beast and feed it. It must have slept for too long and exhausted all the energy stored in its body, that's why it's so angry. Seeing the food we specially prepared for it, it should calm down a bit. The person in charge of the park quickly issued instructions. A few of his subordinates quickly released several sturdy BB birds, allowing them to carry large nets filled with various tree fruits and fly towards the direction where the cabby beast was located. Cabby The cabby beast looked up and saw the trees and fruits in the air. Raise your palm, grab it suddenly, and a BB bird is in its hand. Then he opened his huge mouth towards the BB bird. Seeing this scene, BB Bird, who was caught by the cabby beast in his hand, looked at Venus in terror and instantly fainted. Humph, coward. It's not interested in birds. The cabby beast casually threw the BB Bird in its hand back, then grabbed one end of the net with force and aimed it at its own mouth. In an instant, the large net was filled with trees and fruits, quickly rolling down. It seemed that the speed at which the fruit fell was too slow, and the cabby beast grabbed it again with force. The remaining BB birds in the air did not react for a moment and were pulled by great force, all falling towards the ground. And in an instant, all the trees and fruits in the net fell into the mouth of the cabby beast. Its stomach was like a bottomless pit, swallowing all the tree fruits that were tens of times larger in total volume than its body. What a powerful force! How could the strength of this cabby beast be at the level of a heavenly king? There is such a cabby beast, as the town beast of our park, our park's pussy suddenly rises. How many newcomers in the park can have such powerful elves? The park manager, upon seeing this scene, smiled brightly on his face. Although raising a cabby beast would be a huge expense, this one is an exception. Since its appearance, it has been sleeping, and in total, it only wakes up two or three times a year. Feed two or three times a year, which their park can still afford. You should know that this time we were able to attract all three families, thanks to the existence of this cabby beast. Cabby. However, after a full meal, the cabby beast did not obediently go back to sleep. It seemed to have been stimulated by something, its eyes lit up, and then it quickly ran towards the area where the new people gathered. This is the first time that everyone has seen the massive cabby beast, demonstrating such agile skills. It's done. Quick. Evacuate the crowd quickly. Security department, all personnel must be deployed to ensure their safety. This scene can be said to have surprised the park manager. While his face slightly changed, he quickly issued instructions. I saw a group of security trainers with Alitos marching together to resist the inevitable path of the cabby beast. Sticky web. Spit silk. Poison silk. Dot. We must stop it with all our might. Faced with an Alidos attack and obstruction, the cabby beast simply casually extended its hand, which had just scratched its buttocks, and frantically scratched a head. In an instant. No matter what kind of net it was, none of it escaped the claw net of the cabby beast, instantly shattering into countless pieces without any obstruction. And the bodies of Aritos were directly thrown out by the impact of the cabby beast. Hurry up. Run away. The power of this cabby beast is definitely not something we can resist. Even if it lightly touches us, our bodies will just fall apart. Run quickly. Even the Wanyin Third Swordsman, who had just subdued the Imperial family, was now intimidated and hurriedly fled with a frightened expression. I couldn't even think of resisting at all. Only Xiaoji stood still in place, staring in the direction of the cabby beast, with a puzzled expression on his face. He clearly saw the cabby beast laughing at him. So bright. So sunny. So brilliant. It's like seeing a family member reunited after a long separation. This feeling was strange, and in the next moment, 
Xiaoji realized that he was shrouded in a huge shadow. It's done. He should be running away. Xiaoji just had such a thought in his mind. He saw the giant beast in front of him, wriggling his body and playfully throwing himself into his embrace. I picked him up with a hand. What is this? A cabby beast that throws itself into the embrace. Chapter 3 Conquer Beast of the Town Garden You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The gentle and delicate movements of the cabby beast. In the eyes of outsiders, it has completely changed its appearance. They witnessed with their own eyes how powerful and terrifying the power of this cabby beast was, whether it was the BB bird or Alitos, they couldn't even stop it for a moment. Xiaoji was held in his hand, and with just a little force from the opponent, he could crush all the bones in his body. This is simply a trap for sheep. Dead set. Done. Daji has been caught. Damn it. The power of this cabby beast, even a piece of rock, can be easily crushed. Daji was caught by it, it's going to be treated as food. Is the genius youth of our number one middle school about to fall down like this? It's too tragic. I will have the ability to remember him. Everyone fled in a panic while gazing at the cabby beast and Xiao Ji, who had been ravaged in their arms, and exclaimed in amazement and sorrow. No way. We can't ignore it. We need to go back and save him. Xiu Ming doesn't have many friends, but De Ji is one of them. Seeing De Ji's life at this moment, he was held in the hand of the cabby beast, and in the next second, he may lose his life. His eyes couldn't help but crack, and he instantly turned red. Unfortunately, he has not yet subdued the elves and has no strength to resist the cabby beast. No. That's not right. You guys, look. I'm not feeling dizzy, am I? What is this situation? With a sharp scream, the fleeing crowd all stopped and turned their heads, locking their gaze on the cabby beast. I saw that the cabby beast, which was originally in their sight and tightly held on to De Ji, showed a simple and honest smile. He threw Xiao Ji high, caught him, and then threw him high again, caught him. That look is even more exciting than finding delicious food. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Being thrown back and forth by the cabby beast, Xiao Ji burst out laughing excitedly. He had never experienced this before. Especially the arms of the cabby beast are very sturdy and full of flesh. He was given a sufficient sense of security and was not worried that the cabby beast might not catch him, causing him to fall. This rare experience quickly immersed Xiaoji. It's like experiencing some amusement facilities at an amusement park. The difference is that the embrace of the cabby beast is safer and warmer. Just his laughter, falling into the ears of others, turned into a scream of terror, sending out a fearful distress signal. Oh my goodness! It probably didn't treat De Ji as a toy. How terrifying! This kind of experience is too cruel, why not give it a good time? If it were me, I would be dodgy. Hey, no, no. The damn sense of immersion has already made me shiver all over. Just as everyone mourned for Xiao Ji. The cabby beast finally stopped its throwing motion and cautiously placed Xiao Ji gently on the ground, as if afraid of being knocked or bumped. Then, like a greedy child begging for food from elders, he obediently spread his palm forward. Did Cabby Beast release De Ji? Terrifying. What's wrong with its silly smile on its face? When the BB bird fed it fruit earlier, it didn't have that kind of expression. With that fierce expression on its face, I doubt if it wanted to swallow those few BB birds as well. If I hadn't seen it go berserk before, I would have been deceived by this silly smile. I didn't expect this big beast to have such a side. This must be a facade, a disguise, it must be plotting something. Is it asking De Ji for food? But isn't this behavior a bit too polite? Following the appearance of the cabby beast, just do it directly, which is more in line with the setting. Compared to the differences before and after the cabby beast, everyone looked surprised at the moment, 
not understanding what had happened. They had forgotten to run away, and they all stopped in unison, staring at the scene seriously. Hmm. See the movements of the cabby beast. Xiaoji was stunned for a moment, then caught the eye of the cabby beast and saw it looking at his backpack. He immediately reacted. Oh, you must be hungry, right? I happen to have some energy blocks here, which my new friend prepared for me. His name is Zhou Ming, Nua, there he is. Xiao Zhi took out the energy blocks allocated to him by Zhou Ming from his backpack, and pointed to the distance with his finger. Zhou Ming, who was looking at him with a worried expression, generously introduced them to the cabby beast. Waving at Zhou Ming. Xiao Zhi withdrew his gaze and focused on the cabby beast in front of him. Immediately, he poured all the energy blocks he had taken out into the cabby beast's huge palm. Bark. Bark. The cabby beast opened its huge mouth and poured the few, even negligible, energy blocks into its mouth. But instead of swallowing it in one gulp like before, I chewed it carefully. This is the first meal that Xiaoji has given to it when it comes to the new world. It must be tasted well. Returning to Xiao Ji's side, this familiar feeling made him feel a warmth he had not felt for a long time. Finally back. It's trainer, it's home. The cabby beast let out a satisfying burp. Then he lifted his palm and patted the elf ball that Xiao Ji had pinned around his waist. As the light flickers, the Pokemon ball trembled lightly. Then a crisp sound, like thunder, echoed in everyone's ears. Bang! Chapter 4 Love Worth 990000 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Hmm. With a crisp sound, Xiaoji instinctively looked towards the elf ball on his waist. Unconsciously took it off and held it in hand. It took a long time for the taste to finally subside. Then the corners of his mouth unconsciously cracked back, revealing a brilliant smile, and the joy in his heart was hard to hide. He raised the pocket ball high and shouted excitedly. Ha ha ha. I have successfully subdued the cabby beast. Last night, he put in a lot of effort on what to choose for the initial sprite. However, the main research has focused on the three families prepared by Dr. Oki for the newcomers, namely Little Fire Dragon, Johnny Turtle, and Bulbasaur. And there are their ultimate evolutionary forms, including the Spitfire Dragon, Water Arrow Turtle, and Bulbasaur. It was late at night, and I watched the related battle videos over and over again. That's why I overslept this morning. He never expected that the whole world would change when he woke up. But it's okay. In this world, there are also elves. Since you want to become a trainer and embark on the adventurous path of a trainer, where is not adventure. No matter where he starts, he will become the world's strongest Pokémon master. For him, the adventure of the new world officially began at this moment. Although he doesn't know much about the information about the cabby beast. But he is very certain that this cabby beast is really powerful. The initial elf, having such a powerful elf, would definitely be a fantastic start. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. As soon as he thought about taking a big step closer to the goal of the Pokémon Master, a silly smile appeared on Xiaoji's face. A beautiful future is right in front of us. Is it fake? I must be dreaming, right? Which of you quickly slap me and make me sober up? Pop. It hurts so much. You really hit me, it hurts so much. Hmm. So isn't this just a dream? De Ji. Really subdued that giant beast, the cabby beast. Oh my goodness. This world is too crazy. I can't even dream that the initial elves could have such powerful elves. Compared to the immature Yuzan family, the strength of this cabby beast is simply incredible. Can we all be subdued? Da Ji, how did he do it? Is it difficult? Is it because he prepared some special energy blocks? It must be like this, that's right. I'll just say it. Daji is the one who consistently dominates the rankings at our number one middle school. 
how could such a thing as being late happen, and he missed out on the three imperial families because of it. It turns out that his initial goal was not here. That's right, that's right. Who didn't know that in the exclusive elf cultivation park for newcomers in Lichen, there is a dozing town beast named Cabby Beast that sleeps all year round. Just because ordinary people dare not think about things doesn't mean that even Daji dare not think about them. Sure enough, Daji is just different from us. This thinking, this height, we are still at the bottom of the pyramid, and people have already seen the top of the pyramid. Cows, cows. Watching a group of people blowing rainbow farts at De Ji from afar, Chiu Ming looked bewildered. What is this all about? He was sure that the energy box in Da Ji's hand was just a common energy box, that is, adding more essence could lure some spirits who were sensitive to smell. Like insect or grass type elves, there may be a slight interest. Cabby beast a general attribute elf, and it is still of such a large size. The energy blocks he distributed to Daji may not be enough to fill its teeth, how could it be impossible for the cabby beast to be voluntarily subdued because of this? The real answer still lies in Daji. This guy really deserves to be the chief of number one middle school. When such a thing happened to someone else, Chiu Ming may still find it unbelievable, but when it happened to Daji, he was briefly surprised and accepted it, feeling that it was so geographically appropriate. After all, he is great wisdom. At this moment, the park manager was completely confused. He knows perfectly well how difficult it is to deal with the temper of this cabby beast. A few times before, I woke up and almost demolished the entire park because there wasn't enough food to feed it. He had to put in a lot of effort and ask the old principal of number one middle school for help before successfully calming him down. This time, Cabby Beast woke up and ran wild. He was still worried that he might accidentally harm the students of Number One Middle School. He immediately contacted the old principal and asked him to come and help. But now, the scene before him completely exceeded his expectations. He can't believe it. The beast of the town garden is gone. And it was still abducted by a student using cheap energy blocks. He could tell at a glance. That's a 99 yuan 2 pack essence card energy square. What a special thing. The batch of trees and fruits he prepared, even if not a million, are still worth 990,000 yuan. It can't beat the 99 yuan 2 pack essence brand. At this moment, he only felt that he had ultimately paid the wrong amount. All of them. Chapter 567 A Lifetime Unforgettable Lesson you are listening at NovelFull.audio. What's going on? Lao Yang, where's the cabby beast? Upon hearing the news, Li Mo, an old principal of a middle school, rushed to the scene in a hurry, fearing that any accidents might happen to his precious students. But when I arrived at the scene, I saw a calm sea. I didn't even see any trace of the cabby beast. I couldn't help but frown and locked my gaze on the person in charge of the park. Lao Yang. Lao Yang looked at Li Mo with an expression of suffering. I took a long breath and sighed. Lao Li, your school has produced an amazing student this time. I don't know what kind of charm this guy has. I used 99 yuan and two packs of essence card energy square to kidnap the animal in the town. Ha! Upon hearing this, Li Mo took a serious look at Lao Yang, but looked puzzled. What is the 99 yuan, 2 pack essence card energy square? What are you talking about? I said, didn't you buy fake wine yesterday and drink it too high? Did you have hallucinations today? I don't know how big the appetite of the cabby beast is, let alone the 99 yuan and 2 packs of essence brand energy blocks, even the 999 yuan and 20 packs of energy blocks are not enough for it to fill the teeth. Even joking should be stopped to the point of moderation. You're just joking, you completely look down on my intelligence. Lao Yang had a bitter expression that he couldn't express and was about to cry. If possible, he hoped it was just a joke, but the cabby beast was indeed subdued by someone. 
and it's still taking the initiative to embrace and embrace, not to mention how proactive and enthusiastic it is. He has been spending more than a year with Cabby Beast in this park day and night, and has never seen Cabby Beast show any enthusiasm towards him, not even looking at him directly. Although that's because Cabby Beasts spend 99.9% .9 of their time with their eyelids closed. Upon carefully examining Lao Yang's expression, seeing that he was truly heartbroken and not joking, Li Mo, the senior principal of Number 1 Middle School, finally became convinced. A student from my first high school actually conquered that sleeping monster for the first time. For him, this is a great thing. Who is it? Li Mo's gaze swept over De Ji, who was alone and detached from the group, and he immediately reacted. It's him. So, that's not strange at all. Da Ji is a genius type student in their number one middle school, and his knowledge of elves can be said to be unparalleled, after all, he has always occupied the top of various rankings in number one middle school. Lao Yang, I have to talk about you now. Your mindset is not right. The appearance of this cabby beast in your cultivation park was originally an accident. Although it has been in a dormant state for a long time, if one day it wakes up and insists on leaving, then you can't stop it. Now, you see, the students of our number one middle school, with their own strength, have won them over. This is a great joy worth promoting for both our number one middle school and your cultivation park. If it were to be spread that some students in your cultivation park have tamed such a powerful cabby beast, doesn't it mean they have gained popularity for you? In the future, it will be easier for you to attract all three imperial families or other rare elves. Liamo analyzed Lao Yang seriously. Upon hearing this, Lao Yang also regained his composure and nodded in a daze. Yeah. That's right. This cabby beast can only maximize its value if it is tamed by newcomers. Lying down and sleeping all the time is just a decoration, isn't it? Although it can also bring him some benefits, it is extremely limited. If we take advantage of this incident and promote it widely, and our reputation is established, the elf cultivation houses in various places will still have to rush to cooperate with him. Seeing a relieved expression on Lao Yang's face. Liamo also happily locked his gaze on Da Ji. This child is good. I need to train well. Today, the opportunity is rare, let me teach him how to conduct practical combat well. By the way, help him break in and establish a tacit understanding with the cabby beast. Old Yang, who had seen it through, agreed and said, that's right. Although this child didn't know where it attracted the cabby beast, he actually made it willing to be tamed voluntarily. However, there is still a lack of tacit understanding between the two. Only through practical combat can they gradually develop a tacit understanding with each other. Otherwise, this kid would have wasted such a powerful elf if he had subdued the cabby beast but didn't have enough skills to command it. Lao Yang strongly agrees with Li Mo's proposal. Since we have decided to make a big fuss about this matter, it is natural to promote it well. However, the most important thing is to confirm first whether this kid has the ability to control the cabby beast, if his strength is lacking and he cannot truly tame it. At that time, it may actually have a counterproductive effect. A decision has been made. Lao Yang followed the old principal Li Mo towards Da Ji. Prepare to give him a good lesson in life, which will be unforgettable in his lifetime. Chapter 8 First Battle You are listening at NovelFull.audio Congratulations, Daji. I didn't expect you to successfully tame the town beast in this elf park. The strength of this cabby beast is really too strong. With this cabby beast, you are qualified to fight against professional trainers. How did you do it? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any secrets you can share with us? Dot. Danger relieved. A group of people couldn't contain their curiosity anymore. The inner and outer layers surrounded Xiao Ji and eagerly asked him questions. The secret to subduing a powerful elf like the cabby beast, even the three members of the imperial family who have already subdued it, stood on tiptoe, perked up their ears, and listened attentively. 
that. Suddenly surrounded by a group of people, Xiao Zhi also looked bewildered. Looking back on the process of subduing the cabbie beast, he couldn't figure out what experience he had to share. I think it might be personal charm. After thinking for a while, Xiao Zhi only came to this conclusion. He thought he would be beaten, but he didn't expect that a group of people around him nodded and sighed with approval. That's right, that's right. We really agree on personal charm. After all, you are the man who dominates among us. So this is the astonishing momentum that gathers on the annual leaderboard, even powerful elves can intimidate and make them willingly take the initiative to be subdued. This must be noted. Even if we don't need it anymore, aren't there still younger students here? We need to pass on this secret script. Seeing the intense reaction from everyone, Xiaoji himself was stunned. He casually said, I really became a secret script. But it may be true. He 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 for the first time experiencing the feeling of being surrounded by stars and the moon, Xiaoji couldn't help but giggle foolishly. In his memory, only his arch nemesis Xiao Mao had such treatment. If that guy were to see himself being pursued like this now, he would definitely envy him to death. Just as Xiaoji was about to say a few more words. A burst of coughing came from behind everyone. Cough. Upon hearing the sound, everyone turned around and saw an old man with gray hair walking slowly. It's Principal Li Mo. Unexpectedly, even the old principal was alarmed. That's necessary. After all, even some professional trainers may not be able to easily conquer the existence of creatures like cabby beasts, but our great wisdom has achieved it. This is a big deal for our number one middle school. I can already foresee that the enrollment of Leeching number one high school next year will be very popular throughout the province. That's not it. Ordinary schools cannot cultivate such excellent students. Everyone was amazed as they moved towards the side, making way for the old man. Looking at the old man, Xiaoji's mind flashed with corresponding information. Knowing that the other party is the old principal of my current number one middle school, and when I was young, I was also a trainer who traveled around the world. This made Xiaoji couldn't help but get excited. I secretly began to look forward to it. You're very good. It is our pride to have students like you in number one middle school. Li Mo walked up to Xiao Zhi and generously praised him, it's extremely difficult for newcomers to win over powerful elves like cabby beasts. But the stronger the elf, the easier it is to be rebellious and difficult to tame. If the trainer's strength cannot be recognized by the elves, he will not obey your commands in battle. Xiao Zhi nodded repeatedly, acknowledging the old man's words, but he didn't think it had anything to do with himself because he also had absolute confidence in his own strength. He is the man who wants to become the strongest Pake Mon master in the world. How could the elf he subdued have disobeyed orders? Just as Xiaoji was thinking so. Suddenly, a rebellious figure flashed through my mind, spraying flames as I opened my mouth towards him. He instinctively gave a thrill and his body trembled violently. Seeing Xiaoji's sudden twitching, the old principal nodded in satisfaction. It seems that this guy has taken his word seriously. At first glance, I thought of the scene of Elf Rebellion. Today is a rare opportunity. Why don't we borrow the venue here and use it? Let me give you another final lesson, which is also the first lesson on your journey to become a trainer. Seeing that the groundwork was almost over, the old principal touched his grey beard and said with a deep expression. The first lesson on the path of trainers. Is it difficult to? Someone thought of something and couldn't help but look at the old principal in surprise, then excitedly at Xiao Zhi. That's right. Use the cabby beast you just tamed to have a battle with me. Let me help you hone your understanding with the cabby beast. Only by constantly fighting can the bonds between you become stronger. Hear the words of the old principal. Xiaoji's eyes widened in an instant, and he felt the blood burning all over his body. Fight. He is finally about to start his first battle. Chapter 9 General Treatment of Ghosts, Basic Operations Do Not 6 
you are listening at novelfull.audio. Surprisingly, I can get the personal guidance of the old principal. This is too lucky. I heard that the old principal, when he was young, was also a trainer who traveled everywhere. His combat experience was quite rich. Being able to compete with the old principal will definitely teach you a lot. De Xi is also so enviable. First, he subdued such a powerful elf, and now he can get the opportunity to fight with the old principal. I don't know what kind of elves the old principal will send out either. Do you think De Xi has a chance to defeat our principal? This. It's hard to say. Although Da Ji has achieved excellent results in all aspects, after all, he has just defeated the Cabby Beast. Even though Cabby Beast's strength is strong, the two sides have not even managed to break in, so it should be difficult for them to show their strength. So, for us at this stage, winning or losing is not important at all. What's important is to learn the awareness of battle through this battle. That's right, that's right. It's not a shame to lose a game against the old principal. If we really win, then our old principal's face will be ruined. Ha ha ha. What you're saying? It's me who's too imaginative. No matter how rebellious De Xi is, he can't just come up and take down our old principal. Don't daydream, let's look forward to this battle. These are all dry goods. What's going on? You don't want to fight me. Seeing Xiaoji not responding, the old principal Li Mo couldn't help but ask again. Willing. Of course I do. This is my battle, I will definitely do my best. Xiaoji said excitedly. He didn't feel intimidated or timid just because his first opponent was the old principal of number one middle school. He was naturally a talented person with courage, and no matter who came, he dared to go up recklessly. The big deal is losing a game. Moreover, the cabby beast he just tamed is very powerful, and neither the BB bird or the alliance of Eridos can stop it. In the one dot on point one battle, he believed that the cabby beast was definitely not afraid. Just one word for a man, go ahead. Very good. Young people should have such vitality. Old Principal Li Mo first affirmed Xiao Zhi's courage, then turned around and looked at the park manager behind him. Lao Yang, you should have a dedicated battlefield here. Of course. You guys come with me. Lao Yang nodded with a smile and took the initiative to lead the way for everyone, arriving at an open area with clear lines of battle zones on the ground. Let me serve as the referee for this teaching competition. In Lao Yang's view, the outcome of this game has long been predetermined, with no suspense at all. More importantly, it is Li Mo's teaching and demonstration of students. His existence as a referee is actually optional. Just to make the battle look more formal, the sense of ceremony still needs to be well prepared. Both sides are in their respective positions. This teaching competition is 1v1, and both sides can use one elf. When one elf loses its combat ability, the other team wins, and the competition ends. Now, please send your own elves. As Lao Yang finished speaking, Xiao Zhi couldn't wait to take off the elf ball from his waist. This is his first time. Go ahead. Cabby Beast. As the light flickered, the cabby beast, which had just tamed itself, reappeared on the battlefield. Looking around at the familiar and unfamiliar battlefield, its eyes suddenly lit up and it realized that it was about to fight. After such a long time, it finally has the opportunity to fight alongside Xiaoji again. Cabby The cabby beast let out an excited roar of fighting spirit. Cabby beast This is our first battle. Do you feel it? I've already ignited it, you must be the same. This time, we must do our best to give our adventure a good start. Xiao Zhi clenched his fist tightly, feeling an endless surge of energy all over his body. You're really young. Seeing Xiao Zhi's condition, the old principal Li Mo smiled and sighed, then also took out his own pake ball and gently threw it. Go ahead, dream demon. I saw a creepy elf with purple all over resembling a wizard, appearing on the battlefield. 
Look, it's a dream demon. This is a ghost attribute elf, right? Unexpectedly, the old principal would send spirits with ghost attributes to fight against cabby beasts. I remember the ghost attribute skill is not effective for ordinary elves. That's right. That's true. However, on the other hand, skills with general attributes also have no effect on dream demons with ghost attributes. The general system and the ghost system are mutually immune to each other's attacks. This is indeed a teaching competition. It seems that the old principal is not as quick to determine the winner. Just as everyone was discussing, Lao Yang announced the start of the competition. At the same time, Xiaoji decisively issued the first command. Go ahead, cabby beast. Use destructive dead light. Chapter 10 Shocking. Great reversal. You are listening at novel full dot audio. What? What's going on? Dot. Dot. Upon hearing the instructions given by Xiaoji, countless question marks drifted through everyone's minds. Excuse me. Is it that their ears are having problems? What command did Da Ji give just now? What did he ask the cabby beast to do? Use destructive dead light from the beginning. There is no doubt that this skill is indeed very powerful. With its terrifying explosive power, if it can hit, it can definitely cause great damage. But its side effects are also equally obvious. After using the destruction dead light, the cabby beast will be unable to move for a short period of time, putting itself in a passive state from the beginning. The key is that the opponent is a ghost type elf, immune to this general type of destructive death light. No matter how powerful this skill is, it will have no effect. Everyone looked bewildered. I completely cannot understand this wave of instructions. Daji, this is a deliberate joke. Do you want to liven up the atmosphere? Ah, uh, right, right. It must be. After all, it's a battle against the old principle, so there must be a bit of pressure. He probably wants to relieve his stress through this kind of joke. Such outrageous instructions, the cabby beast will definitely not listen to them. That's for sure. It's just this joke, it seems a bit cold. Ha ha ha. A group of people awkwardly made up for Da Ji. They don't think that Da Ji, who consistently dominates the rankings, will forget this common sense that even elementary school students know. Apart from being a joke, they couldn't find any reasonable explanation. But unfortunately, the development of the matter exceeded their expectations. Get instructions from Xiaoji. The cabby beast didn't hesitate at all, and excitedly grew its mouth, where terrifying power quickly gathered. Just in an instant, the dream demon not far away was locked in and erupted forcefully. Boom! With a loud bang, a dazzling beam of light burst out. The destructive death light instantly penetrated the body of the dream demon, crashing into the earth, causing a violent vibration. The earth shattered, and gravel flew horizontally, causing the site to become bumpy and a huge depression to appear. However, the dream demon floated intact in place without any injuries, just looking at the immature trainer in front of him with a puzzled expression. Is this guy a student from number one middle school? Is it its opponent this time? Why does it look like it's not very smart? The dream demon turned to look at its trainer and caught a hint of surprise from its face. Old Principal Lee Emo couldn't help but frown. Is it an accident? Or was it because the pressure of fighting against oneself was too great, and one accidentally made a mistake? Although Lee Emo really wants to educate him directly, he is still in battle and out of respect for De Ji, he did not speak up but directly gave instructions to the dream demon. Take advantage of now, use the magic flame. In formal competitions, when an opponent makes a mistake, it is essential for a trainer to seize the opportunity and attack decisively. Even in many cases, it can become the key to winning. This is also what he wants to teach all the students. As the dream demon rushed towards the cabby beast, a blazing flame gathered from around it and forcefully charged towards it, 
Xiao Zhi couldn't help but clench his fist and shout loudly. Cabby beast, I believe you, hold on. Cabby. The cabby beast, although unable to move, responded to Xiao Zhi's words with a high-pitched voice. Just a little flame, it's not a problem at all, it can withstand it. The magic flame successfully descended. Under the strong output of the dream demon, it continuously burns the body of the cabby beast, causing continuous damage to it. However, with the resounding cry of the cabby beast, a force emerged that enveloped its body, instantly reducing the damage of its flames by half. It's thick fat. I didn't expect this cabby beast to have the characteristic of thick fat. Heiji let out a cry of surprise. This thick fat characteristic is quite unfriendly to ice and fire type elves. Even if his little fire dragon evolves into a flamethrower dragon, using fire type skills to deal with this cabby beast will be greatly discounted. Liamo nodded secretly. The reason why he asked the dream demon to use magical flames, as long as the purpose was also to test the characteristics of the cabby beast, is now considered to have obtained a result. Cabby Under the scorching flames, the body of the cabby beast was subjected to a certain impact, allowing it to recover its mobility in advance. Upon seeing this, Xiao Zhi's eyes lit up and he decisively issued the command. Right now. Use a million ton kick. Upon hearing this, everyone in Pingxi showed an incredulous expression. There is nothing else, because this million ton kick is also a general skill and is ineffective against ghost type dream demons. De Zhi has already personally experienced this. What's going on here? Is it difficult? Is this guy really under too much pressure and foolish? Just as question marks kept popping up in everyone's minds. The cabby beast had already kicked out with a fierce kick. I just didn't kick directly towards the dream demon, but towards a piece of broken rock at my feet. With one foot falling. The shattered rock was heavily kicked up by it, as if pouring a thousand pounds of force, like a shell, exploding towards the dream demon. Boom. With a loud bang, the dream demon was hit by shattered rocks and quickly flew backwards, directly smashing out of the battlefield. It was imprinted on the wall ten meters away with a loud impact. Ahem. The dream demon let out a mournful cry. Drifting weakly to the ground. My eyes turned in circles early on. Watch this scene. The scene suddenly fell silent. Everyone opened their mouths wide and looked stunned, as if they had seen some extremely eerie scene. In all my minds, there is only one thought at this moment. How could this be possible? It seems like there aren't many people looking at it week or week, please ask for a ticket either is acceptable, no choice. Chapter 11 Wise Lord YYDS You are listening at NovelFull.audio Did you win? I didn't read it wrong, did I? How could Daji really win over Principal Liamo? And still in this way. Oh my goodness, I feel like my values have been greatly impacted. Isn't it true that ghost type elves are immune to attacks from ordinary types and won't take any damage? If I'm not mistaken, the two skills used by the cabby beast before and after, whether it's destroying the dead light or a million ton heavy kick, are all general attributes of skills, right? Under normal circumstances, no matter how powerful and powerful these two skills are, they cannot cause damage to ghost-type dream demons. Can anyone give me an explanation? The situation on the battlefield has had a great impact on everyone. As Principal Liamo initially anticipated, this battle will be an unforgettable lesson for everyone present. How could such a subversive battle not leave a deep impression on them? That's definitely profound bone marrow. While the rationalists were pondering the reasons, most of the young minds had already fallen into a state of fanaticism, cheering for the great wisdom on the battlefield. Woo! 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 Well done! Dodgy is truly dodgy. I have thought about countless possibilities in this battle, but I have never considered this one. This victory is too decisive and unbelievable, isn't it? 
Starting from today, I unilaterally announce, Daji. You are my God. I am willing to offer my knees to you. Just using ordinary skills perfectly defeated the ghost-type dream demons. What kind of immortal operation is this? I have witnessed a truly subversive battle. This is simply a victory of the inverse attribute. Master of reverse attribute. I am willing to respectfully call the Zhi 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 Yi. Zhi Ye. Y Y D S. Zhi Ye. Y Y D S. Zhi Ye. Y Y D S. Dot. I don't know who started the game first, but everyone felt their blood boil, as if they had won the game themselves, and they all shouted together. The wave after wave of sound suddenly shook Xiao Zhi with a shy expression, and he reached out to wipe his nose with some embarrassment. Originally, spirits of the ghost series can be immune to general skills. He really didn't know before. When he saw the destructive death of the cabbie beast, which did not cause any damage to the dream demon, he was startled and thought it was about to end. Unexpectedly, the cabby beast surprised him and was able to counteract most of the fire damage. This is really an unexpected gain. Fortunately, he had a sudden inspiration and saw a large amount of shattered rock scattered on the ground due to the destruction of the dead light. Thanks to just one glance from the cabby beast, he understood his meaning. Kick the million tons onto the broken rock. Exploding with the power of shattered rocks, it dealt a powerful blow to the dream demon. This damn tacit understanding made De Gilles gaze towards the cabby beast softer, as if he was looking at another self. This guy is really considerate and understands him so well. Come back, dream demon. Liemo took out the pocket ball and retrieved the defeated dream demon. The result of this game was completely beyond his expectations. Although he lost the game, Lee M.O. was extremely excited at the moment. Youth surpasses blue and surpasses blue. This is probably the biggest dream of every educator. At the same time, it is also the greatest affirmation and encouragement for them. Being able to see such an outstanding student in his own school, he naturally couldn't be happier in time. You're doing well. It's really great. Li Mo looked at Xiao Ji with a loving light in his eyes, praising him repeatedly. At first, I thought you were too nervous, that's why you made such a low dot level mistake, allowing cabby beasts to use ordinary skills to attack ghosts like dream demons. Now it seems that this is your tactic. Intentionally created a smoke bomb for the opponent, but as the cabby beast was temporarily unable to move, he relaxed his guard and seized the opportunity to deliver a decisive blow. The million-ton heavy kick of the general series, combined with the broken rock created by destroying the death light, can be said to be quite unexpected and clever. This is definitely not something that can be imagined on the spot. It seems that even without real combat experience, you have a lot of research on combat in your daily life. Now, I am convinced. You will definitely become an excellent trainer in the future. No. No. You're already an excellent enough trainer. Today, it was you who gave me a lesson for everyone. Child. You are truly worthy of the title, Master Ji. Watching Li Mo clattering at him and boasting loudly, Xiao Ji was really confused. How does it sound? It seems like that's really the same thing. He seems to it's really quite impressive. He 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 he. Chapter 12 Ancient Capital Traveler Academy, Seeking a Ticket You are listening at NovelFull.audio. What are your plans for the future? As a senior principal of Number 1 Middle School, the most concerned thing is naturally the future prospects of the students. If it is an ordinary student, they will follow the procedure and go to some higher elf schools for further education after graduation to further learn about elf knowledge. I will embark on various career paths related to elves, such as elf cultivators, elf photographers, elf beauticians, elf architects, elf fortune tellers in this world, various professions have long been closely related to elves. In addition to the initial Pokémon subsidized by the Alliance, most students will actually choose another Pokémon related to their future major direction. 
just like Chiu Ming. He was already prepared early on to pursue the profession of an elf fortune teller in the future, and his family had already spent a lot of money to purchase a superpower type elf egg for him. After all, most of the elves prepared by the Alliance for Newcomers have limited quality, and things like the Yuzhen family are extremely rare. And like Xiao Zhi, being able to tame powerful elves like cabby beasts in the new elf cultivation park is unparalleled. Upon hearing the old principal's question, Xiao Zhi didn't even think about it and blurted out, I want to become the strongest Pokemon master in this world. Hear these familiar words. Just after the battle ended, the cabby beast sitting on the ground with a lazy expression lit up its eyes, as if it had seen the familiar figure again. Sure enough, Xiaoji has always been Xiaoji. No matter how intertwined the cycle of time and space is, no matter whether his memories have deviated or been lost, he is still him, the little wisdom, or the trainer who targets Pokemon Master. Cabby The cabby beast excitedly followed suit. This time, it came to Xiao Ji's side earlier than anyone else. Ha ha ha. You deserve it. Da Ji. The world's strongest Pokemon master, your ambition is not small. But if it were you, I think the future is not impossible. Do you have a favorite university next? Principal Li Mo asked. University. Upon hearing this, Xiao Ji whispered softly and quickly replied, I'm not planning to study anymore. I'm going on an adventure, I'm going to meet all kinds of elves and become friends with them. This answer can be said to have exceeded Li Mo's expectations. In his heart, De Jika has always been a top student. He thought that even if he aimed for Master Pokemon, he would also pursue a scientific research path. Unexpectedly, beneath the appearance of this scholar, there is a soul of an adventurer hidden. I'm afraid this won't work. Have you forgotten? The many secret realms in this world are controlled by various higher education institutions. If you want to enter them, you must have a ticket. And that is the identity of college students. So if you want to take risks everywhere, you must first enroll. Otherwise, entering the secret realm under the jurisdiction of universities is illegal intrusion and will result in expulsion and punishment. Hmm. Liamo pondered for a moment, as if thinking of something, and smiled. If you crave adventure, I have a university recommended to you. It's just that its admission assessment is extremely difficult. Even if you conquer the cabby beast, you may not be able to pass, but with your wisdom, there is still a great chance of passing smoothly. Upon hearing Li Mo's words, Xiao Zhi couldn't help but become interested. The fleeting messages in his mind made him realize that there are many secret realms in this world, and the earliest elves emerged from these realms. In this world, there are also many wild elves now. But the truly wild charm, powerful power, and rare elves mostly exist in secret realms. If you want to experience the excitement of adventure, you definitely need to enter a secret realm. So, the identity of this university student is inevitable for him. However, universities are also divided into different levels, and there are many differences in the secret realms they occupy. To obtain access to the vast majority of secret realms, only the top few universities are likely to do so. Which one is it? Xiao Zhi asked curiously. Seeing this, Li Mo didn't show any interest and directly spoke up, Ancient Capital Time Traveler Academy. The Ancient Capital of Time and Space Travelers College. Upon hearing this name, Xiaoji couldn't help but feel a little surprised. In his memory, it seemed that he had never heard of this name before. That's right. This is a special institution. Because it does not have a specific college address. Alternatively, it can be said that the entire world is where his academy is located, and as long as the elf still exists, it will exist in this world. Upon hearing this, Xiao Zhi's eyes suddenly lit up and he couldn't help but exclaim in amazement. Wow! How impressive! Ancient Capital Time and Space Traveler Academy. I've decided it's it. I'm going to attend the Ancient Capital Time Traveler Academy.